everyone, welcome to another video on the JB and Millie channel and today we are taking a closer look at our Scooby-Doo DVD collection as you can see a couple of little VHS's and things like that at the end there okay great, so starting off with we have this displayed on the top this is the special Warner Brothers 50 episodes collection of Scooby-Doo that's just too nice to not have on display so that goes on the top here along with a little Scooby Natural Shrine and then we will start taking a look at the DVDs. So the first one we have here, we start off with the series along the top, is the Scooby All-Star Laugh Olympics Volume 1. So we've got that cover of it. I'll just leave that on the floor so we can slide these in and out and take a look. Okay, so the 50 cartoon collection. The Scooby-Doo Greatest Mysteries. Where Are You, The Complete Seasons 1 and 2, Scooby-Doo Movies, Scooby-Doo Meets Batman, The Spooky Games, then we got the, we've got the 13 Spooky Tales, so we've collected a few of those, I know there's quite a few I think we still need to find, The 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, then we've got Volume 2 of A Pup Named Scooby-Doo, I feel like we might have volume one somewhere. I don't know why that's not on there. And then what's new? So I got these for JB this year, I think. Time does fly. So could have been a little bit further behind than that. But uh, we did it as kind of like a surprise collection video where he got a few gifts to open. And the What's New series was one of them. So the Space Ape at the Cape. Safari So Goody. Lights, Camera Mayhem. Mummy Scares Best, Homeward Hound, my personal favourite been Recipe for Disaster, Ready to Scare, East Screen, Fright House of a Lighthouse, Gentleman Starts Your Monsters, and then what do we have here? This is like a little collective one, um, what's new Scooby-Doo, Mummy Scares Best, Homeward Hound and Recipe for Disaster. Some of these do might seem like repeats, but it's just because we like to collect like different editions of things as well. Shaggy and Scooby do get a clue. Mystery Incorporated. And then as you can see, there's a few Mystery Incorporated here. Here is Be Cool, season one, volume two. And then, guess who? We're currently doing our reviews of these. We're on the first season. We're really happy that we managed to get the slip case of this. I'm sure some people in the US didn't get the slip case. I think that's one very one of the very few factors where the UK actually win in terms of Scooby collecting. And that is with new releases, typically, we do get the slip case. And then next to this, we have three different Boo Brothers. So starting with the clip case, which is actually the newest kind of addition to the collection. We found that, I feel like literally just a week ago. The same cover, but with the newest style of DVD case. We got a slip case as well. Ghoul Skull. Ghoul Skull, but with the clip case. Not with the clip case, the slip case. Reluctant Werewolf with a clip case. Then the slipcase, <laughs> Arabian Nights, Zombie Island, and I'm quite surprised that we only have this cover. I kind of want to find a nicer cover of Zombie Island. I'm sure that there will be one out there. Alien Invaders, and then Alien Invaders with the slipcase. Okay, so we're now on to shelf two, where we have the clipcase of the Cyber Chase. Standard copy of the Cyber Chase. Clip case for Legend of the Vampire. I'm not the biggest fan of this style of cover, admittedly. And then this is the style that we have for Loch Ness as well. I'd love to get many collect like different kind of collections of these. This, this one's my favourite, so it'd be really good to kind of collect more variations of that for the next year. Aloha Scooby Doo. Monster of Mexico. Where's my mummy? Pirates Ahoy, Chill Out, Goblin King, and then this one is one of my favourites. So it's the holographic cover for the Goblin King. 
So I am going to try and twist it so you can see the different images of that. But I was so happy to have found that. I've got the samurai sword, abracadabra do, camp scare. And then this is kind of the center point of our DVD collection. It's the 10 bumper disc collection. We did do a full unboxing on this. So this is 10 Scooby movies and I'm going to say they're quite random. Uh, we did like say unbox it and kind of discuss this in more detail. Um, but if we took it off to take a look at the ones that's in there. Um, just to kind of showcase in the full collection. So why not? Try to do this with one hand. See? First of all, Loch Ness. We've got Boo Brothers, Zombie Island, Legend of the Vampire, Ghost School, Alien Invaders, Goblin King, Reluctant Werewolf, Witch's Ghost, and Camp Scare. So as you can see with this collection, there kind of wasn't any rhyme or reason as to which ones seem to have been included, but having the Mystery Machines on top of it, it just makes a really nice centerpiece for our collection. We have Scooby-Doo and the Phantasaur, Music of the Vampire, Big Top Scooby-Doo, Got the Blue Falcon, Mystery Map, which was so difficult to find, Stage Fright, WrestleMania, again the nice slipcase one of that, Frank and Creepy, Moon Monster Madness, Scooby Doo and Kiss, and I can tell you this one has only ever been watched for the Smash or Pass reviews. We've got Haunted Hollywood, Curse of the Speed Demon, and Shaggy's Showdown. I was convinced this was going to be a slipcase one because it seems like one of the newer ones we collected. Hmm. Okay, so that's it for shelf two. And then we're on to shelf three of this display. We do have some others that we're going to go to after these shelves. So starting off with Scooby Doo Blowout Beach Bash, Batman Brave and the Bold, have the Gourmet Ghost. Curse of the 13th Ghost. The one we don't speak of. Happy Halloween. I'm looking forward to this one, especially this time of year. I'm definitely getting ready for that. Sword and the Scoob. So this is what I was saying. With the more recent ones, we've managed to get some really nice slip cases. That seems to be pretty standard for the UK, which, like I say, the one thing that we do be get benefit from. Scooby Doo straight out of nowhere meets Courage the Cowardly Dog. Trick or Tree, and I, I have not seen this movie enough. I love it so much. I wish I'd seen it a thousand times. And then again, like we said, sometimes we collect repeats, but like showcased in different ways. So this is a three disc box set of Pirates Ahoy, Leg Legend of the Vampire and Ghoul School. So that's cool to have. And again, kind of a multi-pack, Aloha, Monster of Mexico and Pirates Ahoy. Some Christmas specials. So I think the movies are repeated, but it's just presented in different ways. So we have Chill Out Scooby-Doo, Merry Scary Holiday, and Winter Wonder Dog. And then kind of moving on to these, we've got the same ones, but presented in a different way. I love these kind of 3D effect ones. They look really cool. This is another 3D one. Samurai Sword, Chill Out. And I can't even see what the other one is. Oh, this other one's Goblin King. But those 3D ones are my favourite. I think this came out around Christmas last year. The Alien Invaders, Witches Go, Zombie Island, and Loch Ness Monster Multiset. Snow Creatures. Scoob. Scooby Doo the movie. Now, if you you can see three here, but this isn't even the start of the amount of these we have. So we're gonna show you some more kind of like special editions and stuff that are not displayed on the shelf. We've got a standard one, the clip case one, We've got Scooby Doo two, and the one with the slip case as well. Mystery begins, and again, this one is one of my favorites. I love the holographic cases. So I'm going to try and twist it to see. You can see the ghosts there in the background and then they're gone. So they're always really cool to have. Curse of the Lake Monster, Daphne and Velma, we've got all the live actions together. And then we move on to the games that we've collected as well. We display all these together. So there is Night of 100 Frights for the PlayStation 2, 
Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem for the PlayStation 2. Scooby-Doo First Frights for the Wii. Scooby-Doo and the Spooky Swamp for the Wii. Scooby-Doo Jinx at the Sphinx and that was a PC game. This one was really quite interesting and we nearly kind of looked over it. It doesn't initially give Scooby vibes until you look at the bottom and there was a sample inside uh, for a new Scooby game which was really cool. Family Fun DVD and I think I'm right in saying yeah I am um, so this kind of shows to a lot of UK people exactly how old this one is so exclusive to Worth which is cool. Then we move on to the VHS's A Gaggle of Galloping Ghosts Zombie Island, Cyber Chase, and again another Christmas one. I did a Christmas bundle for JB last year and Nutcracker Scoop. Okay, and then also, they were on the shelf but I took it off so I could showcase them properly. Scooby Doo Unmasked for the Nintendo DS, Scooby Doo Who's Watching Who for the DS, and then, and I think this is really cool. Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase for the Game Boy Advance. Okay, so that's it for these shelves. But like I said, there are a few other things that we display elsewhere. So of course it wouldn't be the JB and Millie channel without a few special Scooby-Doo the movie things to showcase. And this is one of the prides of our collection. It's Scooby-Doo the movie clip case signed by the editor Kent Bader. Absolutely fantastic. And we had the pleasure of interviewing him as well. So the link to that, you know, will be in the description below. Feel free to go and check that one out. And then we have more of Scooby-Doo the movie. So here's another clip case. The one you saw in the initial shelves was kind of a green box. This one is a black box. We have Scooby-Doo the movie on VHS. We have it on the Blu-ray as well. And this took a surprisingly long amount of time to find. This was one of JB's kind of dream hunts for the longest time and I ended up getting it for him. We also have the Scooby-Doo the movie for the PSP and the game for the Game Boy Advance kind of both in and out of box, as well as Scooby-Doo Monsters Unleashed out of box. And of course, again, lots of Scooby-Doo the movie stuff. So this is the Groovy Beanbag gift set. It's got a really cute Scooby beanie, as well as the Scooby-Doo clip case, all still in its original box. Scooby-Doo the movie video on watch gift set, again, still in the box. These two are both really amazing finds. We're so happy when we got to add these to our collection. And then the final one, another pride of the entire collection, is this volume one of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, signed by Roger Eschbacher, one of the writers of the series. Again, someone who we had the pleasure of interviewing, and we will include all the links to those interviews in the description below. Okay, everyone, so that does it for this video. We hope you've enjoyed the update on where our collection's at now. I think there's certainly some more things here than last time we did a video, and we'll try and do another update probably a similar time next year, possibly, as kind of where we've got to at that point. Like I said, there's certainly another few things that I would like to add to this collection. Please let us know what you think that we're missing that would be the best thing to collect next, or what your favorite item is in our collection. And for more videos like this, please like, comment and subscribe to JB and Millie. And like I said, check out the interviews below for both Kent Bader and Roger Ashbacker.